Remember guys, in the first section, we added a very simple and very dull title. And we wrote, thank you for watching in the rich text, in fact. And we added a couple of transitions just to make it, you know, somehow interesting. So now we want to format this text and take advantage of the rich text. And we want to format on multiple lines. And we'll show you how you can use the multiple lines and where it doesn't work, in fact. First of all, I will select the transitions. And I will press backspace to delete them. We don't need the transitions anymore. So now this is a rich text. Rich text usually means that you can format this text character by character, word by word, or line by line, as you wish, and put all kinds of formatting. So let's start. First of all, let's start adding more text. I will add another line here. I press enter, go up, and write DaVinci Resolve 15. And I put the bottom line here. I write video editing by Jean Lou. Jean Lou is my friend. Now that we have added three lines of text, let's start formatting the right way. First of all, I want the text to be centered. So notice, I didn't make any selection, so it has centered the three lines. If I had made a selection, for example, the top line, I could have formatted the top line alone to the left. I'm going to put it in the center. According to this principle, let's play around with the characters. If you take the size, for example, for the first line, let's make it smaller, okay? And then let's, uh, for example, take the tracking up. That's not bad, okay? But uh, the 15 looks very odd, so I'm gonna select only 15 and make the tracking a bit smaller for the 15, so the one joins the five. Okay, that's much better. Then I'm gonna select uh, the second line, for example, reduce the font, it seems to me very big, add the tracking, okay, that's not bad like this, and change the color, for example, to bright yellow, doesn't matter if it looks ugly, I just want to show you. Then the last line now, video editing by jean Lou. jean Lou is not important, so we're going to make it smaller, okay, we could have changed the font, by the way, let me change it to Calibri, so I changed the font only for the last line. Now, I can select the last line and play with the line spacing. Notice because it's the li last line, the line spacing is moving everything. I will undo the line spacing, I put it back to zero, and then select the second line, for example, and play with the line spacing. Notice how jean Lou is being you know, pushed downward. Select the first line, push the line spacing. Okay, now I have something, you know, a bit interesting. Of course, you can come over and play with it the way you would like by selecting and making sure, you know, it looks good for you. So now you have formatted this text, you've changed the font, the colors, I don't know, line spacing and stories like this. The things that don't work, when you play with the drop shadow, the stroke and even the background, it really works on the whole rich text. It does not work on individual lines. So actually, formatting the text it stops at alignment and everything under alignment will apply to the whole text. For example, the rotation angle is for the whole text. So let's add some background here. I'll change the color of the background. First thing I will do, give it a nice background. Let's say go for darkish blue, something like this. Okay. Now the color is there, but the background, if you notice the height is at zero. I'll show you a simple tip. If you want the background to cover the whole clip, then you put it to one. Okay, one, and the height one, and here you are. Of course, now you take the corner radius and make it zero. So you see, it's the whole clip. It has covered the clip. Now, with the background, you have some problems, of course, is that the background is connected to the text. So, for example, if you try to rotate, here you are, the background is rotating. That's not bad if you want to animate the whole clip. But if you want to animate the lines and keep the background fixed, then you need to use a generator. We'll see that later on in this section. Cool, guys. So welcome to formatting rich text. And in the next lecture, I will show you how to animate this text.